Hello Glamazons, it is me and this is another Confessions of a Jewelry Hoarder video. I have been filming them back to back, switching up my look a little bit, but guess what I want to talk to you about today? Guess what video this is? Do you like my earrings? How much do you think these earrings were? You know, what if I said I got them at Forever 21? What if I said Aldo or Wet Seal? What if I said Macy's? Or what if I said they were real gold and they were hollow in the center? No, what if I said they were only a dollar? Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> the last one, they were one dollar. And this video is about one dollar jewelry. My opinion on dollar jewelry and how to shop for it, the do's and don'ts. So yes, darling, these earrings were a dollar and I've had them for a year and a half. They have not turned on me. I have sprayed them with crystal krylon and they're just as gold as the day I bought them. And they're not heavy and they're beautiful and they're metal. Okay, what about this? Beautiful platinum ring, solid, heavy all the way around, size 7. This was also a dollar. Looks like solid platinum. And I should know because I do have a platinum pendant. Looks solid platinum. So I just want to make a point. Dollar jewelry does not mean bad jewelry. It does not mean anything. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes businesses go out of business and things get marked down to a dollar. Sometimes businesses and internet stores are opening up and they want to attract clientele so they put out special promos and deals. They might say, here, this is 99 cents free shipping and there's only the catch is that there's only four available. I know because I've done it, especially on eBay. Um, there was this diamond store on eBay. In New York, they sell diamonds. They put out sterling silver CZ earrings for 99 cents free shipping just to attract customers. They only had 10 pairs. So, you know what I mean? So, yes, dollar jewelry does not mean bad jewelry. So, I just want to start off and tell you that. Um, this one dollar. I'm going to show you it. This was in my latest haul video. It's beautiful. It's acrylic. And they got them in different colors. Very pretty. Right? You would never think it was a dollar. Um, this beautiful bangle looks just like white gold. And it kind of matches the ring. One dollar. And I'm looking like I'm wearing thousands. <laughs> Trust me, girls. I live in New York City, okay? So I know expensive jewelry. I've seen pieces just like this in solid platinum and solid white gold, 18 karat white gold, that cost a fortune. And you can't tell the difference. This look, ring and bracelet, two bucks. And I've seen fake jewelry in New York that cost tons of money. Gold over brass, going for $5,000, um, depending on whose name is on it. Plastic bangles at $240. Here in New York, we have $1,000 slices of pizza. We have $1,000 burgers. We have $1,000 ice cream. So if you want to pay a lot for something, no matter what it is, you can find it in New York. <laughs> um, here are some bangles. They're metal. And again, these are in my haul video. I haven't even um, taken the tags off. So let me just put them on really quick. All these for $3. They were a dollar set. And they're just beautiful. Harmful of angles. Okay, so when I'm buying jewelry for a dollar, um, what do I look for? I look for quality. Believe it or not, there is differences in quality. When you look at it, touch it. Okay, first of all, touch it. If it feels flimsy and it feels terrible, skip it. Um, 
if it feels decent and if you can honestly tell yourself you would pay more than a dollar for it that's when you should get it um, if you can just imagine it with a Forever 21 tag, or if you can imagine it with an Aldo or Macy's tag, get it. Because um, sometimes these are pieces from Macy's and Aldo's that just don't sell and they end up in dollar stores. Just being honest with you. Um, I've seen the same things in Forever 21 on eBay for 99 cents free shipping. Same exact thing. But anyway, if you're in a jewelry store, let's say you're in a dollar store, if, or wherever, if you found some dollar jewelry. If it looks like it came out of a kindergarten art session, no, <laughs> don't buy it. You know, if it looks like you can close your eyes and make it, or like some little kid constructed it, it's a waste of a dollar. It really is. Um, if it's, pla I try to avoid the plastic jewelry. If it's plastic, it has to look like it's not plastic, or it has to be something spectacular. Um, I avoid anything that looks like it came out of a kindergarten art class. I try to go for metal, glass, or wood. Because I think they hold up and you get your dollar's worth and they're usually worth more than a dollar and you're getting something out of it. Um, so yeah, like metal bangles, I always snatch up when I see them for a dollar. Um, pieces like these, glass beads with a shell, a hand-painted shell. Um, pendant it's this is mother of pearl it's shell mother of pearl um you can pay a lot you do pay a lot for mother of pearl if you don't believe me go to like hsn or shopnbc.com and check out the prices um and you can always take this apart and put it on sterling silver you can have it wire wrapped in 14 karat gold the jewelry you buy doesn't have to be the way it is. If you can take it apart and make something beautiful out of it, get it. Um, you know, I could easily take this off, just clip this off, and put a sterling silver jump ring through the hole, and it will become a fine jewelry piece. Um, I like when I see uh, wooden jewelry for a dollar, like these wooden beaded necklaces. As long as it's something I like. Because wood is classic. It works for everyone. It's not going to irritate anybody's skin. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. These are two separate necklaces that have tangled. <laughs> Let me see if I can untangle them. They don't want to untangle, but they're two separate necklaces. So I always layer these. I think wood jewelry looks good as long as you add some bling to it. Like I would put like a crystal pendant or something or like, you know, a white sapphire pendant or something and then wear this long. Long necklaces are always slimming. And like I said, wood, to me, you can't classify that as junk. It's not. You know what I mean? Like wooden jewelry... When you see it for a dollar, great. Now, if you see, like, some plain wooden hoops, remember, you can add crystals to them. You can add rhinestones. You can paint them. It doesn't have to be what it is in the dollar store or wherever you get it from. Um, I like the rings when they're metal and adjustable. All of these for a dollar. These were a dollar. Excuse my tacky nails. I'm going to get them done soon. You know, these don't look like they were a dollar. And that's the key. Is that you want to get something that never looks like it was a dollar in a million years. If it looks like it only cost a dollar, leave it there. Um, personally, I don't pick up those colored plastic hoops. Like, I see these girls come on here with, like, green hoops, purple hoops. To me, it looks cheap. It looks tacky. It looks like it was a dollar. If I can look at it and tell it was a dollar, then it was a fail, you know? Um, I say go for the shell pieces. Go for the wooden pieces. Go for the heavy, weighty metal pieces. Um, you can spray paint those with crystal Krylon, and they last. Um, I have an earring haul coming up. And almost all of these earrings were a dollar, but let me grab a pair quickly, just to show you guys what I mean. These are hand-painted shell earrings. They're beautiful. They're mother of pearl. They're hand-painted, and this camera isn't doing them justice, but they're butterflies, and they're navy blue and white, or natural shell. 
Let's see if I can show you the bottom. The back, I should say. They're natural shell. And so they're cold to the touch. They feel good. And honestly, for a dollar, I could take them off of the fake and put them onto real. I could easily go out and get silver jump rings and silver um, fish hooks. And then that will instantly turn them into fine jewelry. Because Mother of Pearl is not junk. It's not garbage. I don't even know how it's sold for a dollar, but whatever. Or I could even replace these little fake jewelry rings with 14 karat gold jump rings. Like if you have broken earrings or like old gold, you can have them melted down. I can take this to a jeweler with my old broken silver and broken gold and have these turn into fine jewelry. So remember, dollar jewelry is not always a waste. And so you can have these forever. You know, these fish hooks and like these little jump rings is nothing. You know, you can always take this jewelry apart and have it remade in real. So that's why I just try to stock up when I see earrings like this. Because not only are they beautiful and I can wear them the way they are, I can easily have the fish hooks replaced with sterling silver or gold. Um, but yeah, so earring haul coming up. Um, that's my, those are my tips. Um, if you see a piece and it's only a dollar, and you feel in your heart that you would easily pay more than a dollar for it, you can see it selling for more than a dollar, you love it, or you can make something with it. Like sometimes I'll buy them just for like the shell or just for the wood because I can turn it into fine jewelry. Um, then that's a deal. You know, when I see like these big, big plastic hoops and that is just straight garbage. It's all garbage. And that's the type of stuff I leave in the jewelry stores. Um, I'm not about all the spray painted plastic and the anything that, that those ugly threaded earrings that everyone was wearing. I never bought one pair. Like, those are a waste of a dollar. It's just all about smart shopping. Like, why am I going to pay a dollar for thread when I can get shell for a dollar? Which has more value, mother of pearl or thread? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's all about being smart. It's all about getting more for your money. And it's about knowing where to go. Like it's just stores that go out of business. New stores that open up on eBay and Etsy that want to promote things. I have gotten sterling silver for a dollar. So I can come on here and say dollar jewelry haul. But is it worth a dollar? No, it's worth more than that. Um, you know, like I said, I have tried to avoid the plastic as much as possible. Anything that's straight up, not even worth a dollar. I'm really picky with my doll jewelry because I know if I look around I can get something really cool or something that looks really real, real. you know like it's like this heavy ring that I had on it's heavy like it's heavy if someone were to, to if I could take it off and hand it to someone they'd be like wow you know what I mean if you if someone were to compliment you on your jewelry and you took it off and you'd be embarrassed for them to hold it or to touch it mm, that's probably a waste of money now don't get me wrong I have a few of those spray painted plastic bangles they look good they look like they cost more than a dollar but in all honesty I would be embarrassed if someone complimented me and wanted to hold it or touch it because that's when it just like what the hell obviously it was <laughs> you know what I mean like that bracelet I showed in my haul video um, um, it's a gorgeous pattern and it looks like silver and it's, but it's plastic mm -hmm. yeah um, if someone asked me to see that or like to hold it I'd be embarrassed but like that ring or these earrings if someone wanted you know here try them on you know whatever it'd be good to go um it, that's how I shop for dollar jewelry and I hope this video is coming across I hope this makes sense to you guys I hope you guys get my flow here um, it should still be a piece that you're proud of it should be something that makes you happy it should be something that you're gonna be able to wear multiple times um, it should be a sort of a deal you know something to where if you had to make it you would charge more for a dollar um, it should be able to last if you take care of it but yet at the same time when you're only spending a dollar on jewelry it can be fun it can be trendy if someone compliments you you just take them off and give it to them 
Um, if you lose it, you don't sit and cry over it. Or you can buy multiples. Like those shell earrings I showed you guys, I bought multiples in different colors. Um, so yeah. Um, I also pick up the feather jewelry when I see it. Because I mean, hey, that's pretty cool. Any sort of natural material from the earth. When you see it for a dollar, get it. If it's feather, wood, glass, shell. And of course, if you like it, get it. Um, you know, if you just see some feather earrings and you don't like them, then don't get them because then you're wasting your dollar. If you're not going to wear it, then don't get it. Um, something that looks real or feels real, get it. Um, something that is something you could not be able to afford in real, but you and it fits your style, get it. Um, if it looks cheap, if it looks like it costs a dollar, if it feels like it costs a dollar, if it's going to break, if it's not going to hold up well, if you're only going to get one wear out of it, don't buy it, regardless of the price. And that's why <laughs> I also do not buy jewelry really from Forever 21 or like H&M. Once in a while, but not often, because you don't get your money's worth out of it, and they charge so much for it. Um, I bought a bird necklace from Forever 21, and I loved it. It turned the first time I wore it. I still have it, and it's still pretty in the front, but the back of it's all gross and nasty. And that, it was like 780 or something like that. I could have got seven pairs of these that have lasted me for years. As opposed to that one necklace from Forever 21 that just totally turned my skin green and got all gross. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all about dollar jewelry. My videos, these confessions of a jewelry hoarder videos are kind of long. But, hey, my down girls, they're going to stick with me. I know you guys are going to stick with me. So, I hope you enjoyed. Any questions, just comment below. Or if there's something that you think I didn't talk about, let me know. And, again, I hope these videos are helpful. And, I, you know, people come on here and they're like, oh, you have such great taste. Well, I'm sharing with you guys my secrets and the way I think. Like, my thought pattern about things, you know, about how I see things. So, hopefully, you girls can go out into the world and be fabulous and be a little bit more crafty. Because um, some of these jewelry hauls I see, and I see these girls buying these jewelry, and I'm just like, you pay money for that? <laughs> like, you know, I don't even care if it was a dollar or, or, and it's like, oh my god, you spent 20 bucks on that? For 20 bucks, you could have got a sterling silver ring, but whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for sticking with me, and I will see you girls later. Bye!